Tupac. I don't understand the point of war, never did, never formed resolutions, only brought lives to end. Peace. My name is Asma Al Amrusi. I'm 19 years old, Egyptian American. I was born in Egypt, raised in Staten Island, and I'm a singer rapper. What really got me into rap music was my brother. So your body sculpted out of gold. When we were younger, we would fight a lot. You could try to come at my talent, but I won't be stopped. Swagger is what us hijabis got. It would normally just be like me just name calling and then for him just rapping. I'm on another level, intelligence of a dime. Got so many followers, I feel like I'm a mom. It would be like, you're ugly, you're stupid, you're this, you're that. Like, you know, just like the little breakering things and he would make a rap out of it. Oh, barely. I keep going like the Energizer Bunny team. My rhymes just sucked, honestly. He would just like completely butcher me. That's kind of what got me into liking rap music. What actually got me into writing was when I made the last minute decision to audition for the show. Arab Americans Got Talent. The aim is to highlight uh, the Arab youth talent. We have some young performers here who are practicing Muslims and the modern idea of what a Muslim is in America probably doesn't even come close to what these kids are doing. My name is Adam Hussein. I'm 15, Egyptian, uh, born and raised in Brooklyn. Ever since I was young, you know, rapping has been a way just to express myself, how I feel. I'm going to dance and I'm going to sing Michael Jackson, beat it, and I want to make the whole crowd go crazy. This is going to be the halftime performance from Omnia Hagezi. She was last year's winner. Give it up for Omnia Hagezi! Right now, Arab Americans, we are one of the most underrepresented groups in the music industry and in the arts as a whole in America. I sing about and I write about issues from child marriage to the Arab Spring. Sometimes I do receive backlash because people say, well, Arab Americans are discriminated against. They think that maybe it makes us not look so great. Rise up and now, oh, oh, stay. But I think what makes us not look great is the fact that we ignore it. Second contestant is Esmet El Amrusi. She's 19 years old. She's gonna be singing and rapping. I think I could do it. I got this. I got this. I went in there really, really confident. To rid the world of all hell, yes indeed. But why do governments suppress the efforts to achieve and cheat on? I forgot that part, and I kind of skipped over it. <laughs> um, hold on, okay. I mean, the people, they were still cheering me on. Right. <laughs> we will live home, baby. Till we get back a homeland, baby. Let's be heard. It wasn't that bad. You didn't mess up. You screwed up bad. It wasn't that bad. It's a learning experience. Uh, 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 Adam, you won, boy! It was a great crowd. There was amazing contestants. I just want to say congratulations to Adam for the first prize winner. Hey, at first, sorry, you came out and I did not expect you to rap at all. <laughs> and you these words came out of your mouth and I was just like, wow. Like, wow. Well, write your own words and speak your own voice. So that's why I was so glad that you did that. And that's honestly something that I want to do in my life is just influence people to go out there and be themselves and not be fearful to express themselves. Because at the end of the day, it's, what are you living for if you don't profess your voice? Fuck.